DM Consulting presents the docking and undocking of a science vessel on a floating dry dock. Here is the ship we will be looking at. She is a science vessel, so she has many protrusions like probes and sensors sticking out from her hull. The lowest point, however, is the sonar dome. One of the difficulties with such a large protrusion is you end up using more wood creating bigger caps and you raise the baseline height making it more difficult to work and in some circumstances you cannot raise the baseline height due to restrictions of your dock. An elegant solution devised by our dock master was to eliminate some of the blocks then turn the forward blocks over on their side. Now we can use smaller caps and we lowered the baseline height. However, we still could not get over the blocks. We had a limited draft. In loading stern first, the sonar dome would contact the first block. So we made the first block a hinge block, so now we can enter the dock with no problems. Let's look at some pictures from the docking. Here you can see our keel line. Notice the difference between the upright blocks and the ones that have been laid over on their side. Now let's take a look at that hinge block. Here we can see the block is in the lowered position ready for docking. Once the ship is in place, we send divers down to move the block up into its upright position. Finally, once the ship is on the keel line, we will use these hauling blocks with the universal caps to complete the docking. The docking evolution. First we lower the dock by flooding the tanks. Then we bring in the ship and align her with centering chains. Once we get the harbor captain off, we commence pumping according to our pumping plan. This docking took a couple of realignments, but we got her on the blocks. And here we can see our hinge block in place. The undocking evolution. Undocking is almost always the easier evolution. We flood and tugs pull her out without a hitch. 